Wisdom from above is first of all innocent. It is also peaceable, lenient, docile, rich in sympathy and the kindly deeds that are its fruits, impartial and sincere. The harvest of justice is sown in peace for those who cultivate peace. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is part of a letter from St. James in the New Testament where he's teaching us that wisdom is from God. We often want to find out what's the best way to live. What are the best priorities to have? What are the best actions to do and the ones to avoid? St. James the Apostle is telling us we have to seek this wisdom from the Lord from His Word contained in sacred scripture, revealed to us in Jesus Christ, and also revealed to us in different ways to the disciples of Christ down through the centuries, the saints who embody that living wisdom of the Lord Jesus. We want to make sure that the wisdom of God inspires us. We should consult the scriptures and we should pray. It's very important to pray every day, to bring all of the decisions in your life and the actions and the priorities you want to prayer first to make sure that you give God a chance to inspire your life. St. James gives us also a teaching that from wisdom comes peace. So many people today are hungry for peace of mind and heart, and they feel that they don't have it. They try to fill it up with all kinds of distractions, but it stays away from them. They feel that peace is far away. They say, I just want a little bit of peace and happiness. But St. James is teaching us that the wisdom of Jesus Christ is that source of peace, which means it's a living wisdom. It's not just an idea, but it's a person, Jesus Christ our Lord. May we always keep our hearts and our minds open to the wisdom of our Lord Jesus, to His eternal wisdom. May we allow His wisdom to inspire our priorities, our relationships, our actions and decisions. In this way, we shall have His peace within our hearts, and we shall bring his peace to those around us. God bless you.